welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is jasmine i have two etsy shops first one is creative jazz design second one is twinkleology i'll list them in the description down below just so you guys can see what i have on those shops one is an adult shop for t-shirts and then that's creative jazz designs and the twinkleology is actually um baby onesies toddler t-shirts and youth t-shirts but in today's video, I'm going to try something new I've never tried before. So you'll see it firsthand, me trying it out and seeing if it works. I'm trying to add some, it's a heat transfer vinyl onto a black sweatshirt, um, but it's actually puff. So it is called Fashion Flex Puff. So it's right there. Um, so I'll be trying this for the first time. Don't know if it's gonna work out. But if you wanna stick to the end and see if it does work, then please keep watching. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is your sweatshirt, if that's what you're gonna make it on. It could be a t-shirt as well. Um, this right here is called Fashion Flex Puff. It's a vinyl, heat transfer vinyl, but it's puff material. Um, so you're gonna need some of this. You're gonna need your cutting mat, a measuring tape, scissor, Reading tool and of course the Cricut. Um, so now I'll show you how I put the image onto the Cricut design space and transfer it over to the Cricut. All right, so here I'm gonna go into new project and then now I'm gonna go to upload. Here I'm gonna choose view all so I can see all the images and then there's my image right here. And I'm going to add to canvas. Wait for it to load. Now I like to zoom out so I can see the whole image. And then here I just put it in the middle. And now I'm going to see what size I'm going to make it. So here I'm going to type in 11. And. I'm going to actually unlock it so I can change that height to 7. And then I'm going to change the color here to white since that's the color vinyl I'm going to be using. And then I'm going to hit make it. Now here I'm going to make sure that I mirror the image. I always want to select that. And then I'm going to hit continue. Wait for it to load. And then now here, I'm going to do everyday iron on. And I like to add more pressure just to make sure it cuts deep into the vinyl. So now that I have sent the image to the Cricut, I'm going to put the transfer vinyl, the heat transfer vinyl, the puff on the mat. Um, this one can be tricky, but you can tell this side right here is the shiny side and this is, a, you can feel it also. This is more of a shiny side. This is more of a matted side. So you're gonna wanna put the shiny side on this one. It's actually the opposite of the regular vinyl. Um, so the shiny side to the back and the matted side goes on to the bottom. And then you just line it up like normal. So now we're going to go to the Cricut. All right, so we see that the Cricut maker is ready. So I'm going to place it just like the regular vinyl. And I'm going to press that arrow. And then wait for that Cricut button to blink.
the design and peel it off. Take your scissor. And take your scissor and cut the parts that did not get used. And then you're gonna take your weeding tool and like I always do, you're gonna go to the top of the design and just try to carve away just to get your starting point to start peeling. This is my first time using this, so see how it works. So you'll get to experience me trying this for the first time, which is interesting. This is very satisfying when you peel it. Very smooth and easy to peel, I'll say that. And then just like normal, peel, peel the other little parts. I mean, if I can get them. May need the weeding tool to help. you guys now at my heat press all right so this is gonna be interesting it's my first time trying this so on the paper that came with it it says to put it in mirror image which I did for white and silver if it's white or silver um, you need to do 290 degrees if you do any other colors like lilac pink and neons that's 275 and anything else would be 305 so in my case, it's white, so I'm gonna do 290. Medium, even pressure. Let me try and check my pressure. That's medium. And then it says eight to 15 seconds. You can start at eight. If more time is needed, press for an additional four seconds. Um, time 10 varies per color. Use the settings that came on your roll. So pretty much, I think I'm gonna do 12 seconds. This is anywhere between eight and 15. So I'll stick to like a middle point there. Um, and then it says you need to peel it immediately after pressing. You can't wait, because if not, it'll ruin the, the image. So let's see how this goes. This should be quite interesting. So you guys are seeing this firsthand. I've never done this before. But when I saw this at the vinyl store, I said, I need to try that and see how it works. So I've been wanting to do this. So I'm gonna 
heat up. Hopefully the camera now falls. Okay, so I'm gonna heat up my sweater, sweatshirt. Take out any moisture that it may have. Maybe my lid roller. Is it right here? Yeah. for a few seconds. Lower my pressure, because it is a thicker material. A few seconds. Got my center point, even though I don't know if I can fold that in half, but I guess we'll see. Closer look. So here's the design. Let's see if I can find the center point on it. Actually, that wasn't too bad to fold. And I'm going four fingers down and lining it up with my center mark. Oh gosh, guys, I'm nervous. But here goes nothing. 290 at 12 seconds. And then I have to peel immediately. All right. One, two. Wait, let me let it go back to 290. It went up to 291. All right, I'm going to just do it. after? I oh, don't know. What does that look like to you guys? It looks crazy to me. But let's give it a few minutes and see if some magic happens. I don't know. I don't know. I, I know the design is not here anymore, so to do anything after doesn't say remove carrier immediately after pressing if the carrier or transfer sheet is left on it can create inconsistencies in the puffed material my material is not um, puffing like was I supposed to do it on a different type of material look bad but I don't know maybe I was supposed to do it on the t-shirt well thank goodness I have some leftover and maybe I can just try it on a shirt and see it but in my case I think I was supposed to use a t-shirt and not something so thick so this is what it looks like so this is my end result here so it just looks like a faded white design on my sweater i'll still wear it i don't care all right guys well thank you so much for watching unfortunately it did not work out like i wanted it to i'll still wear the sweatshirt 
just the way it turned out. I'm not gonna let it go to waste but um, I guess the next time I'll try it on a t-shirt and see if it works that way. Um, but hopefully it'll work out the next time. But thank you guys again for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. If you have any suggestions on any new videos, you leave them in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.